in the previous video uh, identical particles in classical mechanics and quantum mechanics topic had been discussed so now let's discuss the topic eigen value of exchange operator which which comes under this exchange degeneracy topic so let us consider a system of n particles described by the wave function psi of 1 2 3 and so on r and so on s and so on n where 1 stands for all coordinates position and spin of particle 1 and similarly 2 or uh, r s and n so what they are saying is we have to consider a system in which there are n number of particles and the wave function for them is of the form this uh, psi of 1 comma 2 comma 3 and so on r s n where some r and s are some arbitrary particles and uh, there has there are total number of n particles so we finally we ended with n and here they are saying that 1 stands for all the coordinates position and spin of the particle so in a in quantum mechanics, uh, particles uh, uh, we consider the spin also, uh, spin of the particles also. So, if, uh, if you consider electron, it will be having its own spin. In the same way, neutron, uh, it will be having its own spin. Uh, neutrino, uh, their own uh, spins. Some uh, spinless particle spin. Uh, so, because of that, uh, we need to describe this. Uh, in addition to that, we need to, in uh, addition to the position of the particle we need to describe its spin also so one of the electron might be having plus half spin another electron might be having minus half spin so here one indicates position and the spin of particle one similarly two three and so on will indicate position and spin of second third fourth and nth particle and next The wave function is now subjected to the operation of exchange operator P cap defined by the relation. So the wave function which we have discussed earlier. So now it is subjected to the exchange operator operation. So P cap of Rs is operated on the wave function Z of 1, 2, 3 and so on. Uh, uh, N uh, equals and which gives rise to z of 1 2 3 and so on s r n so here if you observe here we are exchanging here p cap of r comma s is present this is nothing but the work of exchange operator is is to exchange the play positions of two particles so here what it's doing it is exchange in the place of rth particle it is ex uh, here it is exchanging both rth and sth particle so in the place of rth particle after exchange what is happening is in the place of rth particle we are getting sth particle and in the place of sth particle we are getting rth particle so here uh, the work of position operator is uh, sorry here the work of exchange operator is so in quantum mechanics we we have to deal with operators for position we have operators like position operator, momentum operator, energy operator. In the same way, this is exchange operator. So, its work is to exchange the position of two particles. And next is the power of the operator is the effect of the operator P is to P of P cap of Rs is to ex interchange the particles R and S such that what was formerly called particle R is now called S and vice versa. The, the, uh, so, they are saying that uh, before rth particle we are having rth particle and sth particle so after exchange what will happen is rth particle will become sth particle and sth particle will become rth particle for the system of two particles we can write so in the if we consider the case of two particles actually here we are considering the case of n particle so for for now if we consider the case of two particles so p cap of 1 comma 1 2 is an operator operating on z of 1 comma 2 wave function finally it gives rise to z of 2 comma 1 so here we are exchanging the position of first and second particle so in place of first particle second particle comes and case of second particle first particle comes the eigenvalue equation for the operator p cap is written as so 
the eigen value equation so you have to be familiar with this so in the case of matrices you have ax is equals to lambda x ax is equals to lambda x so a is a matrix uh, uh, and x is nothing but eigenvector matrix and finally so if you multiply a, a with the eigenvector matrix finally you will get the same eigenvector matrix uh, multiplied with some eigenvalue so this is nothing but eigenvalue and this is nothing but eigenvalue equation so in the same way here p r s cap is an operator operating on xi of or uh, xi wave function and it is finally giving us the same wave function when this operator is operating on this wave function we are getting again the same function multiplied with some eigen value so this is the i form of eigen value equation so it's just like if we are applying differentiation operator on e power x so again what we'll get is e power x so here nothing is there that is nothing but one one, one multiplied by e power x so differentiation operator operating on e power x is again giving the same function e power x multiply with some uh, constant that is nothing but eigen value it is of this form where p stands for the eigen value of the operator so p is nothing but eigen value of this particular operator One, operating p or f p cap or s once more on equation 3 we get so again for this equation we are uh, again operating with this prs uh, operator from the left hand side so we again we are operating so again if we are operating here p is nothing but constant it is taken out and p or s is operating on this and finally what we are getting is p square again the same of this form it is of this form so p multiplied by wave function so finally we get p square xi of r xi wave function now operating prs over equation 1 so again what we are doing is we are operating this is equation 1 again we are operating on this uh, equation with prs on the left hand side uh, so again if we operate what we used to get is p cap of rs so uh, both sides prs operator we are applying so here what we are having s comma r so again if you apply prs the in the place of s we get r and in the place of s uh, r we get s so that's the thing happening here so again we are get, uh, getting the same original wave function so again after two continuous exchanges we are again getting the same wave function so prs uh, so again we are getting same wave function so this is the wave function we are getting so why we are doing this because here this is the fourth equation and this is the fifth equation we just wanted to make the left hand sides of these both equations equal so if the left hand sides of these both equations are equal then both the right hand sides are equal to each other so finally so finally what we are getting is uh, that e this is the equation we are getting so here if we carefully observe these two equations left hand sides are equal then right hand sides must, must be equal so here we are having xi wave function and here also we are having xi wave function here it is multiplied with p square and here there is nothing if there is nothing it does, it means that there is one is there hence the double operation mainly rep reproduces the original wave function and uh, p square is equals to 1 so after uh, two continuous exchanges again we used to get the original wave function and here in the place of p square we are having one here so p square is nothing but equal to 1 and p uh, is nothing but equal to plus or minus 1 so the, the eigen values of the operator p or plus or minus 1 so finally we have got found out the eigen values of the exchange operator so they are plus or minus 1 so the eigen values these eigen values of exchange operator will lead us to the following equation that is xi of uh, rs is nothing but plus or minus xi of sr that means after exchange we are getting plus or minus of xi so let's uh, observe this a wave function is said to be symmetric if the interchange of any pair of particle leaves the wave function unchanged with eigen value plus one of the operator and the function uh, so 
if we are getting plus 1 here so, uh, so that means after exchange after exchanging we are again getting the same wave function with plus 1 uh, eigenvalue then that is nothing but uh, uh, that is called as uh, symmetric wave function so uh, that's the thing they are saying the wave function is anti-symmetric if the interchange of any pair of particles changes the sign of psi. So if we interchange the particle, if the sign of uh, wave function is gets changed after the interchange, so the, that is nothing but anti-symmetric wave function. Uh, it is however an experimentally established fact that all the eigenfunctions of a given type of particles so show the same exchange symmetry. The Identical particles having an integral quantum number for their intrinsic spin are described by the in symmetric wave functions. So, so here what we are doing is we are exchanging R and S, the position of R and the Sth particle. So again we are getting S and R particle but with plus. So even after interchanging we are getting uh, plus of that wave function. There is no change in the sign of wave function. So those type of particles uh, which are having symmetric wave functions are nothing but bosons, post particles. These uh, bosons and fermions have had, had been discussed in the previous video uh, in detail. The particles are photons, neutral helium atom in their own, in their normal state and alpha particle so all these alpha particle neutral helium atom this come under this integral quantum uh, in, uh, in uh, come under this boson particles category because they have integral spin and they obey symmetric wave function the particles which have half odd integral quantum number for their intrinsic spins are described by anti-symmetric wave function that is xi uh, so after the exchange of r and s we are getting minus of that wave function that is the sign of the wave function gets changed so this is nothing but anti-symmetric function and it is followed by fermi particles like electrons protons like that and uh, and they obey fermi direct statistics and the examples for the spin off particle is protons neutrons muons so this is regarding exchange operator and its eigenvalues.